Chat, I have a question. Dubs or subs? This is an important thing to know. Sub based. Subs, dubs. Fuck dub. Sub, subs. Sub depends. Depends on the show. True. Subs and dubs. Subs. Subs. Some dubs are good. Subs, some dubs are good. Sub only when I'm really into it. Dubs. Live action. Fuck. <laughs> You fucking contrarian! <laughs> yeah, no, chat, I agree, though. I think that 99% of the time, subs are better. Live action dies of cringe. He's being sarcastic. I actually saw the Zaro fight, um, like, a little bit of it on TikTok. Dubs, if I wanted to hear squeaky Japanese women, I'd watch hentai. Woo the do, 82. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. FMA Brotherhood dubbed. Yeah, no, FMA Brotherhood is actually good. Yeah, yeah, Zara versus Mihal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. I saw it on TikTok and I was like, yeah, it wasn't that bad. It was pretty cool. It wasn't terrible. Could have been way worse. People who act like anime in real life, that is the real cringe. I act anime in real life. I am anime. Alright. What's this video? I would like to. Oh my god. His face. Forgot you've been reading watching One Piece, right? Yes. Yes, I have been. I have been trying to watch One Piece, even though, uh... Even though it's been kind of rough. With how much time I have to spend watching that shit. <laughs> it's a lot of time! I have to watch it all, man. That was some terrible shit, man. Are you skipping over the filler for it? Yeah, that's what one pace is, yeah. In life, there exists two things that are That was fucking terrible. That was a terrible screen. McDonald's ice cream machine not working and anime fans arguing over the right way to watch anime. English dubbed or the original Japanese voices with subtitles. It's a war that actually dates back all the way to ancient Greece. In fact, <laughs> famous philosopher Socrates <laughs> went on record to say, I watch my anime dubbed. If I wanted to read, then I'd pick up a fucking manga. <laughs> <laughs> this is Cope, man. Come on. It didn't take long for word to spread through the city of Athens, and the court sentenced Socrates to death for his wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up watching it early because animation is outdated and the pacing is slow in the beginning, so I switched to manga. Yeah, I was actually thinking about swapping to the manga because then I can just go as fast as I want to. Forcing him to ingest poison and giving him ample time to reflect on his heinous crimes against humanity. <laughs> Many more battles would be fought over oh the coming God. years. The blood of dub and sub enjoyers <laughs> alike would paint the Yo, streets of damn, we kind of got some bitches. Reddit threads and Twitter reply sections. As anime grew increasingly popular, the feud grew to be more civil, but it still continues to this day. Now it's only discussed by the most refined and sophisticated individuals <laughs> huh what, what what do i think about it have a seat let's talk for the people who started watching anime in the early 2000s there weren't many options for you to get your fix like most kids my age i was introduced to anime through toonami which obviously they were always dubbed dubbing. yeah to youngins back then anime were just cartoons this thing is a jelly donut people go to the shadow realm when they die and sonic is proud to be an american the dawn, sir. <laughs> Dude, this is so fucking good, man. The fucking Sonic singing uh, in July. <laughs> okay, that's American Anthem, man. It's so bad, man. For July 4th, Toonami did this whole fucking dubbing thing. Uh, 
Early light. Yeah, the Only four kids American anthem. Yeah, they did the a fucking the ones Fourth of that July. Western companies licensed and dubbed for American television. If you wanted to watch something that wasn't passed through that filter, then you the had July to get your hands anthem. dirty. No, I meant for now, Fourth of I July. I never dabbled in torrenting. I was too scared to download a virus onto the dusty ass family computer, but I never really had to because in the late two thousands. Guys, I bricked my family computer three times with a Trojan, downloading uh, and pirating shit because my brother taught me how to do it. Anime streaming services started to pop up. Just take your pick of countless different, definitely not illegal websites and immediately gain access to hundreds or even- <coughs> Kiss anime! Kiss anime! <clears throat> Even thousands of new anime. This introduced me to shows that I never would have seen otherwise. Shows that never aired outside of Japan and thus had no English dub. For major series like Naruto and One Piece, I continued to watch them in English on TV until I noticed a discrepancy. Why is the newest episode of Naruto on Toonami 50 episodes behind this random website? And then I realized- I still don't understand that. They would run reruns all the fucking time. Anime comes from Japan. Dubbing takes time. If I just watch it in Japanese, I unlock dozens of new episodes and can actually catch up with the show. From that point on, I ditched the TV, put on my straw hat, and became a full-time pirate. Toonami was doing its thing, but the Based. fan subbers were putting up LeBron numbers. The sheer breadth of content that became available to you by watching subbed was simply outmatched, so I started watching all my anime in Japanese. And that's the story for a lot of anime fans. Started out as dub watchers, but jumped to subbed so they can further immerse themselves in the medium. This is le it made me so angry, man. Running, running through the run reruns on Toonami and like all those other channels, man. It was just so bad. I hated it when I would like turn on Naruto. I'm like, yeah, I'm so excited. What's gonna happen? And it's just like a replay of some episode from like ten fucking days ago. Less so the case for people who got into anime more recently. With the international success of shows like Attack on Titan and My Hero Academia, there came a much greater precedent to make anime more easily accessible outside of Japan. Legit streaming services like Funimation, Verve, and Crunchyroll were launched. The websites sucked, but they were legit, and more importantly, convenient. We got simulcasting with Japan. Almost every new anime had a dub. We even got an anime that aired here before it did in Japan. At this point, it was entirely practical to be a seasonal anime fan only watching dubs. Yet so many English speakers still stuck to reading subtitles. Why? The common belief seems to be that the Japanese voice actors are just better. Their casting and delivery is always on point. They perfectly capture the very essence of each character and put in significantly more emotion and effort in their performances than their English counterparts. I think that's a load of bullshit. For is it though? I don't know, man. Is it? Maybe. All right, I'll let him cook. I'll let him cook. I'll let him cook. Voice acting cook. is a much more prestigious industry in Japan. I love they have Recon. dedicated schools for voice actors where they undergo rigorous training and even then, jobs aren't guaranteed. The most successful VAs are celebrities in their own right, whose fame in Japan rivals those of some of Hollywood's finest. The bar for entry is much higher than it is over here. But Japan's high standard doesn't necessarily mean that America has low standards. You know, you know, you know what, L let me put you guys on to some fire dubs. Uh, here, listen. I There's no reason for me to go on. What? What? Uh, <laughs> okay, let him cook. Let him cook, Jack. Come on. Fighting for. Uh, uh, hold, hold on, hold on. I, I got another one. Peep this one. that one more time I love you <laughs> little bro what the fuck they didn't they didn't even have the gall to like cut out the the, the like put in the music back in all right oh my god I'm not the biggest fan of dubs either, but I still reject the idea that all anime is inherently better by being in Japanese. Like, if I transition into a sponsor right now, would it automatically be better if I did it in Japanese? Oh, hi. 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 O
そうですね。This video is sponsored by Factor. <笑> Factor is a meal delivery service from the folks at HelloFresh that's designed to make、oh, meeting your nutrition goals as easy as possible. Oh, HelloFresh! Maybe they'll sponsor me one day, Chad. I'll do a cooking, cooking stream. I love trying out new recipes and eating、Yo. something that I put together myself, but it's not always something that I have、I'm、the time for. I'm gonna make tteokbokki、um, today, Chad. That's what makes、I'm、Factor make the perfect complement to HelloFresh. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen meals right to your doorstep. Each meal comes pre-portioned in these packages and requires minimal prep. You just pull one out of the fridge when you're ready to eat. Poke a few holes in the plastic film, pop it in the microwave, and two minutes later, Whoa, you're good to go. Whoa, look at that! Healthy. Choose from over 34、healthy. different meals from a menu that's updated every single week. Factor offers protein plus options if you're trying to get those gains. Calorie smart for those looking to cut. Keto for folks on a ketogenic diet. Factor kind of mid, not gonna lie. I tried it before and the food was just bad. Or you could just let Factor take the wheel. I'm gonna be honest. I would rather go to HelloFresh and have the food like delivered to me and I cook it rather than microwaving it because. Holy shit! It is not very good. Like microwave food is not that great. Let's let's be honest. It's like desperation. With the chef's choice option, they also offer a selection of add-ons like desserts and smoothies for those with a sweet tooth. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code NASU50 to get 50% off your first factor box. Why microwave when air fryers exist? True, I have an air fryer too. Even though I started out watching Naruto in English, I find it difficult to return to that version of the anime. There's just something about that hits different as opposed to. Fire style, fireball jutsu. But I think that has less. Yeah, I don't think the delivery is bad. I think he did a fine job, but yeah. To do with、yeah. dubbing and more to do with anime itself. Take those examples I showed you earlier. Looking at the dialogue from that Mega Man scene, Both are I want you to read this、so. and imagine、But. a scene where a character is holding a loved one, screaming this at the top of their lungs, and it somehow not be cringe. And the other anime, my man's is running at a moving train with tears in his eyes, yelling that he loves someone that can't even hear him. It's cheesy, it's campy, it's melodramatic. The dub isn't what causes that; it just exacerbates it. Anime can be incredibly eccentric and over the top. That's part of the appeal. The best abridged series poke、yeah! fun at this exact thing, and it's what makes a lot of the jokes land. That tongue-in-cheek nature that doesn't take itself too seriously. I made a video last year that you should watch if you haven't seen on live-action anime adaptations and why I think they just. Psst, we already watched this one, and it's on YouTube, guys. I already reacted to this video. Double Goku, Goku is way better. Oh yeah, for sure, for、Don't、sure.、Work. Anime has its own set of tropes, archetypes, and style, all of which translate poorly to live action. I think it's a lot of the same principles at work here for why so many fans have such a visceral reaction to hearing dubbed anime. Hearing all the silly shit that's said in the average anime in a language that you actually understand makes just how exaggerated and campy everything is front and center. When you're watching with subtitles, the Japanese voices act as a kind of barrier between what's being said and what's being understood. Do you know that's actually a really good point? Yeah, you don't realize what the cringe shit they say because the subtitles can kind of negate that. If you don't speak Japanese, there's an additional degree of separation when it comes to interpreting the dialogue. Reading a shonen protagonist give a power of friendship ass speech is one thing, but actually、point. hearing them say, "I fight for my friends." <laughs> also, English speakers are uniquely unqualified to rate Japanese voice acting. Of course, a strong performance can transcend language, but you're still not going to be able to notice the finer nuances and nitpick the same way you could with English. Ask anybody who hates English、true. dubs to name a single anime with bad Japanese voice acting. They can't. They can't scrutinize the performance without being able to speak the language. Take the 2016 anime Erased. The Japanese casting for great. Anime, by the way, highly recommend it. For the show was unique in that two live-action actors with zero prior voice acting experience were chosen to play the protagonist. One voices him as a child, and the other voices him as an adult. I watched this anime as it was airing and closely followed the online discourse, but I never once heard any complaints from sub watchers that the voice actors sounded out of place or inexperienced. It's not something that I picked up on either until I looked into the casting and revisited the anime, trying to find differences between the performances of these two actors. And everyone else on the show are the Japanese just born to be voice actors and master the craft without needing any practice?、Mm. Well, no. Casting、mm. inexperienced voice actors for the protagonist was a deliberate decision to isolate him from the rest of the characters and make him sound more like a real person than an anime character. Oh, yo, that's fucking sick, man. Actually.
That's like uh, method acting, but for voice acting. That's kind of sick, oh, yeah. actually. Anime characters don't talk like real people. <laughs> and if a script is faithfully adapted to another language, regardless of the voice talent, they're still not going to sound like real people. A perfect example of this is the anime Tomo Chan is a Girl. There's a character called Carol. She's played by Japanese American voice actress Sally Amaki in both Japanese and English. Despite literally being played by the same exact oh, person, there's still something about yes. the sub that just seems to work better. Because to any English speaker watching the dub, it's immediately apparent that, hey, uh, nobody actually talks like this. I think mine would be better. I agree with you. Bye. How about we do a simple sporty outfit that feels familiar, but also looks a bit more feminine? But with Japanese, Western viewers don't have a point of reference to compare to. I don't think that voice acting was terrible, let's be honest. Just anime. Yeah, I don't so think that was bad. voices aren't gonna sound so off-putting. <laughs> Yeah, that sounded fine in English for me, Enter yeah. the weeaboo. Fucking weeaboos go to Japan and be like, Where, where, where are the subtitles? Where <laughs> the subtitles? Kisama! Femi! Kisama! Femi! Yo, I should be a voice actor. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> anime is yeah! Japanese, but anime is not Japan. Having your sole interaction with Japanese culture be through anime makes for a slippery slope where some fans base their understanding of Japanese norms off what they see in anime. Let me spin you a little yarn. Back when I was a youngin, you know, just a hormonal That's teenager enjoying my Japanese cartoons, I was watching the show Kaicho wa Maid Sama, or some other shoujo anime, and a thought crossed my mind. Huh. These maid cafe things are, are kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we have one of these over here. So I looked it no, up we did and not. I found one. Wait, in what? In Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Not, not Michigan! <laughs> now, I got love for my black brothers and sisters, but what I saw made me want to gouge my eyes out, grab the nearest sharp object, and commit Sudoku. Any desire I had to ever visit a maid cafe was swiftly cringed out of my body. When you see something <laughs> anime no, outside the what? larger context of Japan, it's pretty easy to look at it and go, hey, this sh I don't think I like me My Hero Academia anymore, guys. I don't think I like My Hero Academia anymore, you guys. I don't think I'm done. No, this is your this is your most average normal human being that likes my hero academia. This shit kinda weird. But even within the context of being in Japan, it's still weird. Genuinely, I don't think I've felt more uncomfortable in my entire life. Not everybody watches <laughs> anime, let alone talks like an anime character. Otaku aren't. Wait, wait, wait. This guy is the guy that married um a hologram, by the way. I've seen this. It's a Vice, or no, it's not Vice, it's Asian Boss, excuse me. It's an Asian Boss video on a guy that marries a hologram, like legitimately marries it or not something. Not everybody yeah. watches anime, let alone talks like an anime character. Otaku aren't looked upon favorably. I guarantee you that if you're late for work in Japan and you walk up to your boss with a piece of toast in your mouth and tell him, uh, boss, I'm, I'm sorry I'm late. I, I stopped by the maid cafe to have some omurice and tea. Your boss is not going to turn around and be like, Stop! Daijoubu dayo. Daijoubu dayo. Who is your favorite tomato? Who is your favorite tomato? Chat. Wakarimashita. What happens when the light bulb turns out? Burns out for his waifu? She did. The cum dumpster. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Mine is Chizuru-chan. She is so kawaii. Everything Japanese ah, is heavily hey. romanticized and even fetishized all over the internet and True. Japan does True. hold some blame. Anime is a cultural export and an incredibly profitable one. There's a reason why Obama thanked Japan's late Prime Minister Shinzo Abe for introducing the rest of the world to the art form. My karate and karaoke. <laughs> It's fucking dead. I'm about to bite and blast Barack Obama off the stage, man. 
Manga. Manga. An anime. And of course, hentai too. <laughs> Why can't you just say it normally and say karaoke, anime, hentai? <laughs> Not say it with like an accent. It's so, like, I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel about, I would prefer if like, put it this way. I would prefer if, um, if someone walked up to me and they're like, oh, I love Russian food. I love borscht and I love um, Vareniki. And I'd be like, ah, very good. That's really nice, American son. And instead of the whole like, I love borscht and Vareniki. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. <laughs> All of the things he listed contribute to Japan's soft Obama's power. Obama's and Baki soft as he power is. power is a form of power that comes from cultural influence rather than military might. Japan has had a chokehold on pop culture for many years now, and anime is a major anime. part of that. And it's not by coincidence. It the Countries are very pizza. cognizant of their public perception and are always looking for ways to increase their soft power. Japan even put together the Cool Japan Proposal. A strategy to make what the fuck cool japan movement promotion council huh in japan seem more cool the country what? first started making an effort to reform their image post world war ii after they did some things that were pretty fucked up oh yeah um yeah they did some pretty fucked up shit back then huh <laughs> i get annoyed when p people mispronounce ozzy slang not gonna lie but like shrimp and bobby and cunt. <laughs> I apologize in advance if I've annoyed you. <laughs> uh, not so cool. Hey, weren't you guys responsible for horrible atrocities and war crimes? Cute anime gyaru. Ah! Leave me alone! Ah! Cute anime waifus! We forgot! Don't that fucking cute stare at me. aesthetic is something that's prominent throughout Japanese media and is a direct result of how Japan markets its culture. They perpetuate harmful stereotypes that give foreigners a messed up perception of the country. Now I gotta explain to my son that not every Japanese girl speaks with a high pitched voice and only knows two words. Basically, what I'm saying is. <laughs> I created you. You created me. A country that severely oh. lacks soft power is China. If you look up China on social media, instead of getting popular franchises, you're just gonna see social credit memes, that one nigga with the unique head shape, and <laughs> But in recent years, there's been something working its damn hardest to change that. Genshin Impact. Genshin- Yes! Genshin! is a Chinese video game, but you'd be forgiven for thinking it's Japanese. It's extremely anime, but also extremely popular, unsurprisingly, with anime fans. Now, the last line of defense for a lot of dub haters is to say that, honestly, I just like consuming things in the original language that it was made in. Dubbing to English changes too much. But in this Chinese True. game, made by Chinese people, I have not met a single person who plays with the Chinese dub. It's either a I play with a Japanese dub and English subtitles. English, or more times than not, Genshin. you're playing in Japanese. This is what makes me think that it's because of an established association between the anime aesthetic and Japanese language, rather than some innate quality that makes Japanese voices superior to all others. I don't even no. entirely disagree with the original language thing. Maintaining the- I played Age of Wushu. I don't want to fucking hear how I don't like Chinese. I just love Japanese more with the voice acting. I'm used to it. Integrity of the original script is important when translating. Yeah. Dialogue often has to be localized so that it makes sense to the audience you're translating for. But sometimes localization turns into bastardization and script writers make something completely different. Sometimes it works out. Usually it doesn't. Like with the aforementioned donut from Pokemon. Jelly filled are my favorite. Nothing beats a jelly filled donut. And ah, jelly filled anime. donut. Have you got a stick up your ass? Or are you one of those dumbass Gamergate creep shows? Well, that, ah! that's just not what was said. Localization is meant to take foreign concepts and rewrite them in a way that's easy to understand. Introducing entirely new lines that have nothing to do with the dialogue does neither of those things. This being something that puts people off of dubs, I completely understand. But localization can be and has been done well. What I find to be more important than the country of origin is the setting of the stories and creator's vision for the piece of media. For example, I mentioned before that ever since I picked up the Naruto sub, I never went back to the dub. Despite yeah. not being set in Japan, most characters in Naruto have Japanese names and the story is heavily inspired by Japanese folklore. So the Japanese voices feel more appropriate. 
Conversely, Full Metal Alchemist is an anime that I watch dubbed. Given the Western setting and yeah, you can get away with watching the dub. Yeah, this makes sense. Yeah, their names this it makes made sense. more sense to me to constantly hear them saying Edward Elric instead of Eduardo Eroriku. Also, the official language of a mistress is English, so I found it to be more immersive. Something like Cowboy Bebop, I couldn't imagine watching subbed. Shinichiro Watanabe's work have very clear Western influence, and he's even said that he prefers the English dub himself. Mm. Or that, that's at least what everyone says. I've never actually really? found a source for that. My oh. source is that I made it the fuck up. The setting <laughs> is the main thing I consider when choosing which version to watch. Watching Attack on Time on German dub is superior. Yeah, it is kind of off-putting when they say certain names for uh for Attack on Titan because they're German names. Watch, but it's not a definitive rule. And like Japanese. I still went with the sub for Attack on Titan because I found some of the English voices insufferable. Armin sounds three times his age and Aaron sounds like he's permanently clenching his teeth anytime he says something. There are some trash ass dubs. You won't see me denying that. But I mm -hmm. still think it's goofy to write off dubs wholesale. If you're going to be a hater, at least take the time to experience what you're hating on to come up with some better reasons why you hate it. Shit, I'm, I'm being a hater right now. Be like me. A hater with extra steps. Okay. Japanese dubs have their own set of problems when an anime has non-Japanese characters. In Black Lagoon, there's a scene where two characters have a language barrier. This is Revy. She speaks English. This guy only speaks Japanese and he's trying oh. to beg for his life. Give, 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 give. give me what? I cannot speak! Quit yapping, you goofball. You wanna give it to me no. or not? Come on. No, I don't think I will. That was terrible. Damn. Come on. Come on. The press. The press. And then she just switches to perfect Japanese. Oh my god. No, that was terrible. Minute, I, I thought you can't speak Japanese. She just goes from speaking broken English to fluent Japanese. Vinland Saga is filled with scenes like this. Here's Thorfinn, who speaks Old Norse, telling an English woman that he can't understand his language because he doesn't speak English, while they're both speaking in Japanese. Yeah, I'll admit, even the Finland, Finland one, that was kind of like funny to me. I didn't really pay attention to it, but yeah. I want I you to look me saying. in the eyes and tell me that Japanese is the ideal way to experience this story. Personally, no. I think that in a perfect world, there would be no dubbing for different demographics. Every character would be voiced in their canonical spoken language. You're making a game based in ancient Greece? Doesn't matter if your target audience speaks Swahili, dub it in Greek. Oh, you're making a show set in a fictional land with a made-up language? Then all your characters should be dubbed in a made-up language, and everybody gotta read subtitles. Whatever best But that becomes way too difficult. Like, if you go the Game of Thrones route, I feel like that's also not the correct move. Like, I'll be honest, I think m creating a language just to, like, talk in it, like, that would be so heinous for, like, Naruto and stuff. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just suits me. That piece of media should be the only version produced. Some Japanese game companies have had this figured out for a minute now. Despite being based in Japan, Capcom has games like Resident Evil and Devil May Cry where the English dub is heavily prioritized. The recent Final Fantasy 16 is lip synced to the English- Tolkien did it? Yeah, but he, he was fucking insane. ...his voices rather than the Japanese. From Software didn't even produce Japanese dubs for any of the Souls games. Given the medieval fantasy setting, English Ooh. better fits the creator's artistic vision for the games. True. And all of these titles have phenomenal voice work. I ain't never met somebody who said, um, actually, I would prefer to play the Japanese game Dark Souls with Japanese voices. No. Nope. But if I did... Kill him! It has nothing to do yeah. with Japanese things inherently being better in Japanese, and everything to do with anime tropes and aesthetics specifically feeling all the more unnatural in English. The more yeah. anime an anime is, the more likely it is people are going to bounce off the English dub. There's a reason you recommend your friend's FMA or Death Note as a gateway anime, as opposed to something like k -On. These games aren't very anime, so you don't see nearly as many people complaining about the voice acting. Since Even FromSoft Japanese released the game. Souls games with only English, it's safe to assume that their 2019 game, based in Sengoku period Japan, only had Japanese audio. Nah, that shit had six different language options. But it did default to the Japanese, and it gave players this little message saying, Uh, the game is Japanese. Please play the game in Japanese. Please play because the game in Japanese, please. 
forbid you release a game in the West without Bleeding English face. voices. Just like how there are anime fans who refuse to watch dubs, there are people who won't consume anything that requires subtitles. My running theory is that they're all illiterate. Read, nigga! Read! <laughs> but they're still not as nearly as annoying as the subbed anime crowd. Most of them just want to be able to understand what's being said without having to be distracted <laughs> by text at the bottom of the screen, which is a decent enough reason. You know, some people actually do not like watching uh, anime and then reading subtitles. But even that is a sentiment that I've been hearing less and less. With the insane popularity achieved by shows like Squid Game yeah, and Cat the Boy Parasite, had a good more people have become open read, to the idea yes, of watching read. foreign media. They realized, you know what? Maybe I can read faster than 15 words per minute, and that's pretty cool. It's in stark contrast to the level of closed-mindedness that you see from alleged cultured individuals. There's definitely a middle ground to be reached between avoiding all subtitles and worshipping everything Japanese. Language can have a profound effect on how you experience media, and you'd be doing yourself a disservice by limiting yourself to just one. It's okay to have a preference, just try not to base that preference on bullshit. And remember, trying to push your own preferences onto someone else's doesn't make you cool. It just lets everyone know you have an unwashed ass. That's it for this video. To a Squid Game subbed? Uh, yes. I watched all of it subbed, yeah. Read faster, little bro. You grew up on an iPad. Dude, I learned how to read subtitles at age, like, five. I'm pretty sure. It helped me with my reading. Alana, Chad, I'm getting cooked in Valorant right now. It's your own fault. You launched Valorant video. See y'all in the next one. Good, good video, good video. Yay! Clappers, clappers, clappers. Yee! Good job. Everyone give him a like. Very good, very good. Mr. Nasso based and real. Clappers. Yeah, all in all, I agree with him, but I still prefer subs for good reason. Not a bad video at the beginning. I didn't really understand where he was trying to get to. I mean, he's just laying out the foundation, you know? Seriously, watch Attack on Titan scene in German dub, y'all. Sounds more fitting. Okay, I will. Will I get copyright struck? Did you check for a message from Twitch today? Yeah, I did. Not yet. The point is, if you're a bitch, if you don't like subs, you can like whatever you want. Wenn wir weiter hier bleiben, werden wir bald unter Steinen begraben. Also macht euch sofort Sick. bereit. Kommandant, werden wir nun etwas sterben? Okay, that was fucking sick. Hold on, I'll I'll skip a little bit around. Here. He's like yelling and shit. Die, die gedenken können, sind wir, die Lebenden. Wir werden heute hier sterben und den Sinn dafür den Lebenden, die nach uns kommen, anvertrauen. Das ist yeah, it is fucking sick. Yeah, it is sick. Yeah, because it fa it matches. It matches. Mm hmm. I've only heard German yelling in certain videos in school. <laughs> Germans are go lucky, happy little Europeans. They don't talk about it just like the Japanese. We don't talk about the awful Japanese things that Japanese people did. <laughs> Everyone has their problems. <laughs> Until they invade Poland again! No! <laughs> Bang, 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 bang,